Northwestern Ontario walleye. So fun to come up to this part of the world and do some fishing. World-class walleye fishing is what the region's known for. And in today's segment, we're gonna be talking about fishing in current up here in Ontario because there's moving water throughout the entire province as it flows north into Hudson Bay. Just a little walleye to start us out. We're fishing in a beautiful river here. Got a big flow coming in. And we're gonna talk about some tactics for catching fish in these kind of conditions up here in Ontario. Nice fish here. Chunky little guy. One of the keys to fishing in these current areas, especially this system that we're starting out in here. I mean, we got 10 to 12, 12 mile an hour current ripping out there. But as you can see, I'm just hovering here. Our boat's in neutral right now. Current's going by and I'm sitting right here. I'm in a little eddy and you just kind of nudge the boat back and forth with your, with your motor. Try to stay in one position, fish as vertically as you can. And one of the other keys, of course, is to make sure that you, the jig that you're using is heavy enough to get you to the bottom but not so heavy that you're gonna snag in the rocks all the time. You can fish with minnows, leeches, or crawlers. I like usually using minnows or night crawlers in current areas rather than leeches. Here's a little tip for you. Run double minnows on your hooks from time to time. You'd be surprised. Sometimes it triggers more bites. And also in these current areas up in Ontario, there's lots of artificials that are work. I'll bring uh, rattling crankbaits like rattling rapalas along trolling small crankbaits along the shorelines or even casting them in these current areas can be very productive. And then I've really become fond of the uh, Storm 360 GT search bait and since it's come out here a couple of years ago. Three and a half, four and a half, and five and a half inch sizes. Boot tail with a rattling head. Awesome lure to cast to imitate minnows that'll catch a lot of fish as well. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> I like to bring up a couple of six foot three medium power St. Croix Icon Rods for this application. They're on all my flying trips. I'll tell you a little bit more about why as soon as I get this fish in. Man, this is a tugger here, bigger walleye. You can really see the medium power and the extra fast action on this rod while I fight this fish in the current. Nice walleye here, chunky. Look at that. Beautiful golden color, kind of typical for Ontario, real black back, chartreuse jig right in the top of the mouth. The reason I'm using these rods in this current is that extra fast action, there's a lot of boulders down there, you've got that current sweeping that jig through the rocks and that fast, extra fast tip allows me to drag that jig through those rocks, feel when it's a rock and then feel when it's a bite very subtly. I can use a jig that's just heavy enough to get me down on the bottom. Um, I can get away with a quarter ounce jig in these um, conditions, even though there's a lot of current because the eddies back sweeping all of, the, all of the water down there and keeping everything vertical. And you want to hover right over those fish. You can see that super fast current coming down river out in the main channel there, it's 10 or 12 mile an hour. It'd be virtually impossible to hold in that in one of these little outpost boats. But the back eddies that are created in these areas as the water wraps around these points, I'm trying to keep that jig vertical right below the boat. And again, just feeling through those rocks for those bites. Like there's one right there tapping me. There he is. Boom. One after another. So if you're holding in these eddies, kicking her in and out of gear, and you want to take a break from the boat control, you could always go to a spot like you see behind me here, park the boat on shore, and then fan cast this with a swim bait or a surge bait or a little crank bait. I don't think you'd want to pitch a jig down here because you'd probably get hung up. But you can certainly catch fish that way as well and it's a nice way to give yourself a rest from working the tiller and the current all day. Nice walleye. Getting them virtually every cast in this spot. Here's another nice one digging. You've heard stories of Ontario walleye fishing where you just pound on them and get hundreds of fish in a trip. This is one of those spots. Another solid fish here. So fun catching them one after another. You know, you should always make sure you bring electronics on these remote fly-in trips. I've got my Humminbird Helix 7 here, and a nice feature that I've added to it is the Zero Lines SD card. 
It's a blank SD card with just a, an outline of all of the terrain around the lakes. And as you drive around, your sonar will mark the depth and translate that onto that Zero Lines SD card and you create your own maps as you go. If you go to a lake for the first time, it's an indispensable tool to help you see the water, learn the water, and if you're returning to a destination year after year, you can actually continue to add to your maps every time that you take a trip up here. Oh, another chunk, man. Look at these guys. Beautiful fish. Taking a butt kicking from walleye. Incredible walleye and northern pike fishing here in northwestern Ontario. If you'd like to experience this awesome fishing, go check out RustyMyers.com or give a call to the number on your screen. They have 11 different outposts to choose from to help you catch fish, and they're going to put you on these beautiful lakes in northwestern Ontario. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.